Hello. So in this video, I'm going to talk about benzyl bromination, which is another uh, thing that n bromo 6 cinnamide can do. Um, and I wasn't necessarily specific in the previous video, but all of these reactions generally take place in nonpolar solvents. Uh, and in the case of the benzyl bromination, um, the nonpolar solvent is necessary to prevent some kind of uh, undesired electrophilic uh, ionic reaction. And generally, the idea is, is in nonpolar solvents, ions are less likely, so you prevent uh, ion reactions from competing. So when you have a benzyl, right, benzyl is the, the position next to a, an aromatic ring, and you have some sort of benzyl thing, and here's toluene. Uh, reacting with n bromo 6 and in the presence of peroxides, you can get substitution at that benzyl position. Uh, and the reason that this works is that you generate a you generate a radical. Uh, this radical is resonance stabilized. It's true. Uh, there are actually a lot of resonance contributors for this radical. Should be five. We'll work on drawing them all because uh, just I'm going to. You know, and so because this radical is resonance stabilized, this is where uh, we get the radical substitution. And there's actually one more version that looks a lot like the first, except the uh, except that the pi bonds in the ring are at alternating positions. So there are five resonance contributors for this radical, really stabilized. And in, and in general, NBS is a good reagent to use for resonance stabilized radicals. It can brominate other positions, but it's really pretty specific for this. And it's because molecules like benzene, the aromatic compounds, and the galkenes also have other reactions that they do with um, bromine, and you want to avoid bromine. Okay. Uh, and, and as I said, it's important to avoid bromine if because to avoid bromine and to do this in a non-polar solvent, if we were to do this in a polar solvent, just as an example, we would actually switch over to a reaction called electrophilic aromatic substitution, which is going to be the topic of a later series of videos, and you'll get a completely different product. And this, by the way, is also the same product that you would get if you reacted toluene with bromine. Uh, and so, you know, polar solvents can actually short circuit the radical process. In the next video, we're going to talk about ways that, uh, or the types of products that can form from a uh, not n bromo 6 reaction, and the, the sad case that sometimes there's more than one. Thank you for watching.